Merry Christmas. I don't think I can give you a gift because technically you are a gift. I gave this guy the gift of friendship, which is a little weird because it kind of involves human trafficking. What's up, guys, and welcome to a very festive episode of Three Random Games. Now, as everybody knows, one of the most important parts of Christmas is giving. So, of course, I had to have our first game revolve around that. This is called Losers on a Christmas Eve, where we need to spread the holiday cheer to complete abominations. <laughs> if there was ever a face to represent this series, that would be it. Here you go. Merry Christmas. I don't know if I'm technically Santa Claus or not. Because there is like this entire dark, gloomy town full of sad people that really need presents, but Santa doesn't usually use uh, PDA as far as I know. <laughs> Just the Santa Tablet 2.0. We have a lot of people to visit, so let's go over here and get started. Excuse me, sir and or madam. I'm not gonna assume you're low polygon count gender. Here you go. Ooh. We made carolers. Oh yeah, and technically we gave you Christmas lights. So I'm guessing we're gonna alter the town as we head through, yeah! <laughs> so much cheer! Hey dudes, you want free presents, you're gonna have to get down off the roof. I'm not doing the chimney thing anymore. <laughs> That's a thing in the past, I'm way too old for this. I can sit and wait and check out your photo of Independence Day. Why do you have a photo of Independence Day? <laughs> I don't need to ask these questions. Oh, I gave you a friend. A friend who really likes reading about Independence Day. Well then, <laughs> are you coming down or not? Do I need to try to go up to you? Can I, I can jump. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. Sorry about this guys. There we go. I just said that I wasn't gonna come up on the roof and then I came up on the roof. You're lucky that I'm looking to spread the spirit, okay? Merry Christmas. Well, this guy has made it blatantly clear that he wants money for food. The six foot sign was my first guess, but I don't have money. The elves aren't allowed to print money anymore. We got into trouble for that, so, uh, Merry Christmas? Oh, hey, I gave you your own little house and a bowl full of hot water to take a dump in. Merry Christmas. Oh. I can throw presents. I can throw infinite presents. <laughs> okay, I know it's not money or food, but you have to be happy about this. That's how I'm supposed to reach people on the roof. That makes way more sense. Here's hoping I have unlimited presents because I wanted to push the boundaries and now I'm not getting one side of them. <laughs> it's just not loading in, which is kind of a concern. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go spread cheer somewhere else. I, I gotta try this guy, right? I can probably hit you from here. Hit? Oh, come on. Don't don't make me beg. There we go. <laughs> Drive safely and have a Merry Christmas. Do not use until Christmas. Well, it's Christmas now, right? It, it's Christmas when I say it's Christmas. So we're gonna open the roadblock and- Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of rude. I assumed we were gonna start some kind of Christmas parade or people were gonna come rushing out. I didn't think I would just get hit by a car, otherwise I wouldn't have stepped into the road. <laughs> okay, who else needs some holiday cheer? Come to me or the homeless guy. alley -oop. There we go. <laughs> and you can have some too. Oh, cookies, free cookies. Oh, you guys got the right idea. I'm, I'm gonna have a cookie. Save some for others. Listen, if they're free cookies, then they're free. I can have as many as I want. <laughs> I deserve a lot of them, okay? I used to be big into the cookie game. I'd get them for free from every house that I would visit. I'm starting to think that I'm Santa Claus. I'm speaking a lot like I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I don't think I can give you a gift because technically you are a gift. I gave this guy the gift of friendship, which is a little weird because it kind of involves human trafficking. Do not use until Christmas. I keep seeing this all over the place and I think it's gonna get me in trouble at some point, but uh, we can open the valve and uh, fix the brake. And then I guess make the bomb explode. What's going on over here? Here you go. Oh, we made free porridge. That's not nearly as good as free cookies, but I guess we need to have a healthy alternative. Don't worry, sir, I didn't miss you. I saw your creepy little gross hand wiggling around. How did you get in there? 
Huh? How does this happen? Here you go. <laughs> Your gift is not freezing to death for being an idiot. Santa can really just neglect natural selection. Santa can also whoop some ass if you guys want to be bullies. You know what? You guys don't get presents. I'm going to give them presents, and they're probably going to be semi-automatic presents. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, you see? They vaporized. That's what you get. <gasps> oh, and this guy needs a snowman. Okay, well, that's a whole lot easier to work with. Yeah, we didn't even have to kill anybody for it. And the peeping Tom needs binoculars, I would imagine. Can't see a whole lot through that window. I'm willing to bet there's a hot piece of something over there. And he's gone. Yeah, that, that's some karmic justice for you. Yeah, Santa doesn't really know how to fix a tire, dude. Just, uh, I have a sleigh. They're far more efficient in the winter, but... Here you go! <laughs> okay. Yeah, the elves are all over it. They're a very multi-purpose unionized task force. Hello, disgusting little kitty. How are you? Can I... It's a cat! Sure is! <laughs> there you go! <laughs> okay, uh, how are we doing on the list? How about we, uh, bring this up? People without gifts. Oh god, there's still like a dozen of them. Fun Matt, Silly Anna, Crazy Michael. I haven't seen any of these people. Oh, here we go. You must be Crazy Michael. You gotta be crazy to hit a tree on your way out of town. There you go. I fixed the tree. Your car is up and running. <laughs> it's someone over here. What are you doing? Oh, he's getting a Christmas tree. You're just gonna chop down this decades old living thing so that you can hang it in your house. Is that dark? Uh, what is this? Am I going home? I don't think I should go home yet. There's still a lot of Christmas cheer to spread. Wait, I don't think the North Pole is up, right? It's north. There's a difference. I'm instead looking for what I would assume is stupid Matt, dumbass Larry, something like that. Here you go. Now you won't freeze to death trying to make your way to the top of this mountain. You're welcome. There's just random gifts strewn about for me chucking them all over the place. You never know when somebody won't have a gift, so you just gotta kind of carpet bomb the area. Who are we missing? Like, I can't give gifts to these people because they are gifts. Like I said, it's it's weird. Are you kidding me? I don't want to pick up garbage. Why can't we get the homeless guy to do that? <laughs> That's totally his jam. I, I got more important things to do. Uh, oh dear. We may have a problem. Santa is stuck on one of his own presents. Maybe I can uh, just uh, build my way out of this Fortnite style. Probably not. Help? Free porridge guy? New friends guy? Anybody? I gave you Christmas and you're gonna leave me here to die! Alright, you know what? You guys can take your festive cheer and your presents and your beer cans and just shove them right up your- Three random games. Fittingly, our next game takes a look at the darker side of Christmas. Retail, consumerism, people buying presents, people buying cheap crap for themselves, and all the while being rude to retail workers. Every now and then, a retail worker snaps and just needs to slap the crap out of everybody, but only if they deserve it. Let's get started. Have you heard the one about the lion priest? They say he's a very holy mane. Haha, <laughs> get it? Like, man, mane, because he's a lion? Oh, I want to slap you so badly for that. But I think I'm supposed to let you go. Okay, yeah, you're not actually being rude. Wow, did you see the bear outside the store? A few moments ago, an old lady fell and it helped her to stand up. Such a lovely creature. I'm amazed you didn't eat her. Okay, well, that's nice. You can move on too. Good dog. I'm not a dog. I have five fingers. Sit down. Rude. By the way, a milk bottle fell on the floor in the sixth row. Do your damn job, you lazy millennial. Oh, you want a third black eye, do you, panda boy? Sit down. You can get the milk while you're down there. Ah, oh, I can't live in my apartment anymore. Some skunks live under me, and let's be honest here, they smell like shit. I mean, technically, skunks do kind of smell, but I feel like that's racist towards skunks, so you can take a seat. Listen, I wouldn't walk in that back alley over there. I saw a wolves. Listen, cut some slack, okay? I'm sure it's very difficult to learn English when you're a cat. I would bet that they are all in a gang. You would jump pee. Okay, you know what? That That's just, that that's rude. I don't appreciate that. Just breathe. Ooh. 
I needed that, Miss Donkey. Thank you very much. What's up, Porky? <laughs> Hiring old people is not worth the investment. They might snap any time. I might snap any time. Snap your glasses in half. <laughs> Game over. I think I did well. I slapped eight deserving people. No, I did eight things right. And I didn't slap anybody who didn't deserve it. But I kind of want to see what happens if I slap people who don't deserve it. Sorry about that, sir. Just a quick intermission from the slapping. What can I do for you? We're all equals here. I mean, in rights, obviously the hippopotamus is bigger than the rat. But size doesn't matter. Besides, in sports, I guess. Are you trying to say that small people can't play sports? <laughs> a slap! That was wrong, of course. <laughs> Rabbits are so fast. Probably the best couriers I've seen. That's not okay. You can't just say that. <laughs> Don't assume something about people. Rabbits reproduce themselves like insects, and they steal our jobs. Yeah, you deserve a slap. Ree, 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 ree. Damn lions, they think they own the world. I just want to slap people. Hey, about the Madagascar genocide. Uh, oh, welcoming towards gazelles and lemurs. Oh, you want to let them escape the genocide and come here? I was about to lean off and crack you a new one. Okay, fine. I'm on my last strike. You can go. By the way, a milk bottle fell and made a mess in aisle six. Not that you'd notice with your nose and your phone, you lazy millennial. What phone? <laughs> oh, you could just get off it. What a match yesterday. Did you see it? We could say whatever we want, but a lion and a tiger who dropped the gloves, it's a hell of a show. I'm, I'm sure it would be. Seeing them wear gloves would be pretty funny too. <laughs> okay, yeah, you wanna let people escape a genocide, that's fine. I, I get that already. I hate everybody equally. <laughs> I ain't racist, but a lion is just a really dangerous. Oh, I wanna slap you anyway. <laughs> I can give people multiple slaps. <laughs> slaps for everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Three random games. Our next game is one that I have been wanting to play for a very long time in Viscera Cleanup Detail, Santa's Rampage. Now, unsurprisingly, slapping the crap out of all my customers lost me my job, but fortunately, Santa took notice. He really enjoys my gusto, so he hired me to help him clean up a bit of an unfortunate incident here in the North Pole. <laughs> he didn't go into great detail. I don't really know what's going on here, but uh, maybe we can take a look around. Try to reverse CSI what happened here. Clearly, something exploded, blew a hole in the wall, left some elves in better shape than others. <laughs> but all the presents are fine, right? I, I don't see a busted present anywhere. So maybe Christmas can still be salvaged, right? Maybe Santa has a plan and we can help him? Or maybe he went into a drunken whiskey rage and killed everybody? <laughs> That's gonna complicate things. Ooh, I don't know what to be more concerned about. The fact that this elf is impaled on reindeer antlers, or the fact that there are loose reindeer antlers in the North Pole. <laughs> That's probably not a good sign, right? Oh no! <laughs> Rudolph! Oh my god, this is gonna take forever to clean up. Well, I'm guessing step one is gonna be to get a bucket. I don't think there's enough clean water in the world to help me with this. And we'll start with the entrance, right? It looks like the cops have already been through here, so I don't really need to hide anything for Santa. He's already up shit creek. <laughs> I just need to make sure that we give a good first impression. Okay, you know, all those sick kids that get flown to the North Pole? This is not the first thing they should see. This isn't really working. Like, I, I can get all the blood off the walls and the floor and stuff like that, but there's just more coming out of them. <laughs> I need to come up with some way of getting rid of the bodies. <laughs> okay, come here, you. We we're just gonna, oh no. They still jingle. <laughs> no! Oh, you asshole. <laughs> Is this because I was making fun of your stupid little elf shoes? Oh, really? Okay. How do I deal with bodies? What is this? What a load disposal bins. Yeah, I probably need a disposal bin, right? Would that make sense? Can I just put them in the fire? Wouldn't that work, right? We'll just, uh, there we go. Oh, oh, is he alive? What? Why did he just pop up straight like that? No, I think he's dead. He's definitely dead. 
So step one is gonna be pick up all the jingly little feet and put them in a biohazard disposal bin. There we go, okay, easy enough. I'm getting the hang of this. It's my first day on the job, okay? They really kind of tossed me into the fire here, literally. There's a bunch of USB sticks lying around on all of their bodies too, and I'm not sure what exactly I'm supposed to do with them? It's really weird because they each have like elf names. Holy crap. <laughs> Don't look at me, okay? I didn't do this. <laughs> I'm just responsible for cleaning things up, okay? You'll get a proper elf burial out behind a Taco Bell or something like that. <gasps> what do I do with these? Stinky Smittlefeet, that's clearly an elf name. Do you go in here? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm, they might be real small, but I probably need a couple of boxes to get rid of all of them. And uh, an extra long broom to get some of them down. <laughs> okay, at least we got all the bodies out of there, right? So now we should be good to request more clean water. Um, that's not really what I wanted. Okay, you can go over here. I don't even know if that's an elf or not. It's hard to tell anymore. There we go. Uh, water, please. Okay, good. I was gonna say, please don't tell me I run out of water. I know I've gone through a couple buckets already, but there's a lot more work to do. I need to walk backwards out of a clean area because my feet are so bloody. There's a lot of shotgun shells lying around and I'm not gonna clean those up. I think we're good in there. That looks good. So we can clean you off and now, oh God, um, I guess we can go up here, right? We get all the extremities, work our way inside. You can come with me. Oh God, he was pinned to the wall with a sword. <laughs> Why does Santa have a sword? Here, I'm just gonna drop these in here. That's fine, right? I feel the need to point out that this is technically a multiplayer game. This would usually be like a three or four person job, but I'm the only person around to clean this up right now, which is a real concern. <laughs> and I don't know how to get rid of the bodies or the extra buckets of water. Wait, like, do I toss them in the fire? Oh, I think the guy that I tossed in the fire is gone. So maybe that actually works. Okay, well, uh, careful. Oh yeah, nice and squishy. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So now that should cremate the Jesus Christ. Sorry, I shouldn't be yelling that on Christmas. What the hell just happened? Am I dead? What? I think, is that me? I came here to clean things up and I'm pretty sure I made more of a mess. Why are elves explosive? These are the things National Geographic don't tell you. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. And I'm not really sure when this video is going live, but if it's around Christmas time, and if you happen to see Santa, then maybe call the police. I'm pretty sure he's a wanted fugitive right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.